Hi guys, in today's video tutorial, we're going to do an amortization of a five year fixed mortgage. And we're going to also uh, calculate the monthly payment for this mortgage. I'm going to show you how to use the PMT function, the IPMT function, to calculate the interest part of the loan and the PPMT to calculate the principal part of the loan and just PMT to calculate the entire uh, monthly payment okay which includes the interest and the principal of course okay so now just to briefly introduce this little chart I've made here table I've made here here's the in our annual interest rate here's the maturity of our loan so it's a five percent interest rate over five years maturity the loan amount is two hundred fifty thousand dollars and first thing we want to do is calculate the monthly payment okay so to do this we use the PMT function equals PMT first thing is the rate so we take our rate here we divide that by 12 because this is monthly payments comma the maturity of the loan this is I mean the N per the next argument this is the number of payments in the loan so it's the maturity the number of years times 12 payments per month so there's 60 comma the future value of uh, the present value of this loan is the principal amount in Excel lingo and I like to put a negative sign first and then click the principal amount because in Excel's logic it treats uh, the PMT result as a negative number because f for accounting purposes so in our purposes here for our chart our table rather we want a positive number so if I put a negative in front of the principal it'll give me the same exact number except it'll give me it in positive okay if you're new to the PMT function I have a video that uh, I go through these, these steps a lot slower for and I'll, and I'll link that in this video so be sure to click on that link uh, while you're watching this to open a new tab and learn that function but this is all we need close parentheses three parts the interest rate divided by 12 the maturity the years times 12 and negative the principal or the present value of the loan hit enter and our loan and our monthly mortgage payment is going to be four thousand seven hundred eighteen okay now we got what we need to actually amortize this loan. So if we think about it, it's a five year loan. So there's going to be 12 payments a year. That means five times 12, 60 payments. So in this first column here, month, I want to fill a series in from one to month 60, which would be the last payment, first to last. So one way I could do that is I can type one here, click in this cell, go over here the top left corner to fill click fill series select columns stop value 60 step value is already equal to 1 and it's a type linear so it's going to make it's going to fill this series from 1 to 60 and we can scroll down and see that the last month is indeed 60 okay so first thing we want to do is to calculate the interest on this uh, loan for each month. So we use the IPMT function equals IPMT stands for interest payment. Our rate, we lock that number because we want to drag this formula down so we create an absolute reference. If you're new to this kind of all this Excel lingo, be sure to watch the other um, Excel tutorial videos and if you're following along merely for uh, purely for mortgage uh, understanding purposes then I guess you can just kind of follow along okay so we put the dollar signs and create an absolute reference which locks that cell we divide that rate by 12 because it's a monthly payment and that's an annual interest rate comma the next thing is the payment the the uh, the current period rather that we're talking about and that is month one so we can select that we leave that as a relative reference comma the 
n per the total number of payments in this loan, which is we've done before, is the number of years times 12. And we need to lock that D5 cell because we want that to be an absolute reference. And finally, the present value of that loan is going to be the principal. And we should lock that. And the th last two arguments are optional for more custom type loan situations. We can close this, parentheses, hit enter. And you see we get a negative number. Let's go back into the principal and make that negative E5. And you'll see we'll get the same exact number in positive. Next, let's get the principal for this loan. And it's very similar. Principal payment is P, PMT. So two P's, open parentheses, the rate lock divided by 12, lock that cell, make an absolute reference, comma, the period is the month, comma, the number of payments is five times, uh, five years times 12. We need to lock that cell D5. And the present value of that loan is the principal. We put negative this time because we know why and E5. And hit enter. So the principal and the interest. Well, let's add these two numbers up. If we highlight numbers, we get in this little corner over here, Excel gives us some summaries. And the summary we're interested in is the sum. And would you see that this matches with the total payment? So the interest payment plus the principal payment equals the monthly payment that we calculated using PMT. Okay? So now we can reduce the sum of these two from the principal. So this is going to equal the principal amount minus the sum of the interest and the principal for month one. And that's our new balance. Okay? Now, if we were to drag these formulas down, and use one of the, uh, a, a very good website, amortization-calc.com, to compare our results for authenticity, we would see that they get a very similar interest payment, exactly the same in fact as ours, and the same exact principal payment. So the so our results match up for the second month as well. We can see we're getting the same exact numbers as them, and our new balance for the first month is slightly different than theirs and we have to figure out why, what that indiscrepancy is from okay but as you can see going on down this row up to the fourth month at least we have the same exact numbers for both principal and interest let's see what's going on with the balance and wh what mistake we made and perhaps we can learn something from it well, right away I could see the mistake that we made. We subtracted the principal and the interest from the balance, and we should only always be subtracting the principal. And if we check that, we see that 246, 323 matches up exactly with 246, 20, 20, 323, and 86 cents to the penny. Okay, so now we can go ahead and do a couple more calculations and refer back to make sure we get the exact right, uh, correct results, and thereby creating our own amortization table without having to refer to someone else's uh, closed black box uh, inputs on some website. We know how to do this ourselves. So for our second balance, we can calculate 
the balance by taking the previous month balance and subtracting the principal that we're paying in the second month. And this formula is draggable too. We could drag that down and we can pull up the amortization table as a reference and we see that our numbers are in fact matching up. 242, 632, 238, 925, and 235, 203, and 27 cents. To the penny, okay? So now we're pretty confi confident. Let's just move forward and copy these formulas all the way down. You could do these one at a time, like this or you can grab them together by highlighting all three and pulling them down together like that and the trend we obviously see is as the intro as the months go on as we get closer to the end of our loan uh, maturity of our of our loan or mortgage the interest goes up down and the principal goes up so the proportion of each payment we make is becoming more and more principal and less and less interest. In the beginning, we're paying a lot more interest than we're paying than we are, uh, say, 40 months in, as you can see. Compare this interest payment to this interest payment, right? And eventually, we'll see at the end of the loan that not only are we paying almost no interest only $19.58 versus the $1,000.41 we started with, but also that our principal has reduced to exactly zero, okay? Which is what we expected. We're paying off the loan in 60 months. So I hope this was helpful in uh, showing you how to create an amortization table. We also learned a bunch of functions. We learned the PMT function the IPMT function, the PPMT function, and we also learned how to amortize this loan with these details as well as calculate our monthly payment and see it out all the way to the last month and see exactly what proportion of our, each of our payment is going to principal and to the loan throughout and replicate exactly what we saw off this very reliable website amortizationcalc.com so if you enjoyed this video be sure to watch my other tutorial videos on excel access powerpoint and mathematics until next time have a great day subscribe